Hi. Hello. This week, we're asking, is time travel possible? And the simple answer is yes. And what's more, you can try this at home. Yeah. For this experiment, what you're going to need is a clock, a wristwatch, some sticky tape, a very powerful rocket, and some aluminium foil. First, place the clock in a convenient location on the ground. Next, make sure that the watch is firmly attached to your wrist. Next, use the sticky tape to attach yourself to the rocket. Then fire off the rocket at 99.5% of the speed of light and just enjoy exploring the universe for a bit, steering clear of any black holes that you might find. After your watch indicates that a minute has passed, use the rocket to return to Earth. You should find that although the wristwatch shows that only one minute has passed, the clock that you left on the ground has shown that a whopping 10 minutes has gone by. Congratulations, you've just time travelled nine minutes into the future. And if you want to go even further into the future, simply set your rocket to go closer to the speed of light. This is all down to Einstein's theory of relativity, which unites space and time as space-time. And as a result, the passage of time starts to depend on how you're moving around in space. In the same way that two people taking two different routes to the same destination would measure a different distance to that destination, two people moving at different speeds through space-time will measure different amounts of time passing, even if they end up at the same point in time. And we can confirm this using particle physics experiments. For example, some unstable particles only last for a certain amount of time, known as their lifetime, after which they will spontaneously turn into other particles. This is known as particle decay. But if we accelerate those unstable particles to very close to the speed of light, we find out that they actually last much, much longer, exactly as we'd expect with Einstein's theory of relativity. Now, of course, accelerating a very, very tiny particle is relatively easy. Whereas, you'll inevitably come across the problem of having to upgrade your rocket, since most rockets available from your local space agency probably won't be capable of getting close to the speed of light. Oh, is that what the aluminium foil is for? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, building a better rocket is just a case of engineering. No, yeah, well, and there's the problems of the g-forces that might kill you when you're yeah, accelerating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but the aluminium foil is all about the more fundamental question, which is, once you've made it into the future, will you ever be able to come back to the present? Uh, yes. Now, famously, travelling backwards in time involves all sorts of horrible paradoxes. For example, you can go back and end up changing history. So, as long as we always keep going forwards in time, we won't have that problem. And fortunately, Travelling forwards in time is the only thing that's possible. Unless you have a traversable wormhole. <sighs> ah yes, wormholes. They're like black holes, only better. Mm -hmm. Black holes are regions in space where so much stuff has been concentrated into such a small volume that the fabric of Einstein's space-time has been tremendously distorted. That means Theoretically speaking, a suitable black hole is actually capable of linking up two completely different bits of space and time. So I could try to get back into the past by navigating my way through a black hole. But, as we've discussed previously, if I try to go into a black hole, I'll either be ripped to shreds or pummeled by intense radiation. Uh, oh, is that what the aluminium foil is for? Some sort of radiation shield? Or... No, 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 no. no. Uh, the uh, whole point is that we're going to use a wormhole instead of a black hole. And although wormholes are relations of black holes, they don't suffer from these problems like ripping travellers to shreds when they pass through. So the plan is that we're going to create a wormhole. It's, it's got two ends and you take one of those ends with you when you travel on your rocket into the future. Right, so when I'm done in the future, I simply jump into my end of the wormhole and emerge at the other end at the time where I started. Right, yeah, I see, I see. I mean, there's just one small problem, of course. 
wormholes don't exist. Well, theoretical physicists Michael Morris and Kip Thorne have demonstrated that wormholes are at least consistent with Einstein's theory of relativity. All you'd need is a large amount of some as yet uninvented exotic matter placed under extreme tension in one direction and pressure in the other directions. Uh, I see, so we're just left with the engineering problem of having to create an entirely new, possibly impossible type of matter. Yeah, that's right. Although there is a more interesting question, which is to start creating one of these wormholes, you'd need to be able to manipulate the properties of space-time on a microscopic quantum level. And we don't really know whether that's possible. Either. Right. So if we want to travel backwards in time, we need to understand how to unify quantum theory and gravity. Yeah, how are you getting along with that? Well, let's just say that for now, if you do travel into the future on a giant rocket, you're probably not coming back again. Which is why you'll need the aluminium foil. Oh, right, okay. No, I still don't see why, why you'd need it. Well, it, it's a hat. So you blend in better when you're uh, stranded in the future. Okay, okay, clock, check, wristwatch, check, sticky tape. Oh, no, actually. Um, ah, Samandra from Number Hub. Um, would you mind just, uh, yeah, sticking us to the, to the rocket? Yeah. Rocket. Yeah, the yep. yep. so, so. Is this the... Uh... Thank you. No, that's it, that's, that's, that's it. It's plenty, it's plenty, it's plenty. It's plenty. Do don't, just... don't waste it. Don't waste it. Just one. Because we might want to do a trip again later. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Sticky tape. Check. Very powerful rocket. Check. Aluminium foil. Check. Subscribe to Head Squeeze. Check. Let's go.